Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how to easily stick some text on a wall or a window and have it moving. Now let's get digital. So this is the result that we'll get in a matter of minutes. So the text sticks to this part of the wall, keeps moving and also goes out of the scene. Now at this point it moves a bit strange, but the more time you spend on this, the nicer it will look. You will need a video clip that has a wall or a window or something else that you want to put the text on. I've chosen this video clip and I'll show you why. With the text you want to have some kind of perspective and this video clip is ideal for that. So I'll go to annotations. What you want to do is have some vanishing points or straight line that vanish at a certain point. The bottom line goes something like this. And we have this horizontal line goes something like this. I'm just doing this quickly, but I hope you'll get the idea. So these are the lines that I see. I could also maybe use this one on the top where all the lines meet. That is where the vanishing point is of the camera perspective. So somewhere around this circle. But that is only at this point. When the camera moves, so does the vanishing point. But what you want to do is maybe apply some text between these two lines and have it be in perspective. As you can see, it will be a little bit taller here in the beginning because it's closer to the camera than it will be here. And it's the same here. And I'll actually apply the text to this portion of the wall. And to do that easily, I'll do it in the Fusion page. So with the clip selected, going to the Fusion page, we'll need the text node to display the text that we want. If we now just use it like so, this is not what we want. We need this to be in the perspective mode. We could use the transfer nodes, not this one. You would actually use this transfer node, which is the same one as it is in the edit page because it has the pitch and the yaw. We could adjust the yaw and scale down the width. But then when you come to the rotate, it looks off. So this is not an option that I want to use. Instead, I'll be using a tracker because that is also what you want for the text to stick to a part of the wall. I'll be selecting the media in node. So this node will be applied automatically to the composition. Type in tracker and use control space or shift space to open the select tools. And the one that I'll be using is the plain red tracker. In here, you may need to use hybrid point area and change the motion type. I'll be just using the point and the perspective. I'll go to the beginning, make a selection where I want this text to be. So inside this part of the wall and then I'll simply click track. I'll stop now because it started to track in this part, which is not what I want. But for all intents and purposes, that's okay. So at this point, I could maybe start deleting all of the other keyframes that I don't need. So this is the selection that I have. I'll simply connect the text to this. But now in the plane red tracker, what I'll do is change the operation mode to coronary pin. Now, because I've already done the tracking, I can simply position the pins to the selection that I had previously tracked. Something like this. I will then go into the text node, adjust the size. I can also go to the layout to adjust the position. Now let's see how this looks like and I'll be selecting the plane red tracker just so you can see what is happening with the selection window. This looks good. Now if you had some issues, maybe at this point, what you could also do with the plane red tracker selected, you could go to the current red pin enable the keyframes on all of the four corners and simply adjust the position. 
Now my animation previously was smooth, but now because I've changed it, this will look silly. But if you need to tweak the animation a little bit, this is how you can do it. So let me adjust it, maybe also at this point. So I also managed to fix that issue, I only had to apply this change to a couple of frames, and not all of them. Now you can also go to the text, add some kind of glow node or alter effect to make this look a little bit nicer, and then go to the tracker and change the apply mode to maybe overlay, and you can also adjust the gain. You can make this look nicer by just changing the color of the text. And as I can quickly and easily put some text on a wall or a window and have it moving with the scene, even when it goes out of the camera view. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals. Keep it digital.